Yo, know what time it is? Time for a Gold's Gym D Trend bodybuilder workout. Bodybuilder mode is activated. Yeah, back at Gold's, as you can tell by Zoo Culture yesterday. That was fun. But now we gotta get a chest workout at Gold's. So we're gonna take it workout by workout. And let's see if there's no dramas. Every time I go somewhere at Gold's, they always say something. Oh, for real. But there's that goddamn darn D Train guy right there, man. <laughs> that guy D Train, man. We're gonna be really stealthy today. D Train fell off. Nah. I don't trust that man. I don't trust him. He's been acting a bit shady since the deal. <laughs> since the deal. Fuck. Since the deal, he's been acting a bit shady. <laughs> Starting off with the pec deck, the titty machine, just warming up the chest. You know? Warm it up a bit. Blood in there. And then you can continue with the heavyweight, because I lift heavyweight and I'm strong. So, we gotta warm it up correctly. I'm a bodybuilder. So far, so good though, no drama. It's really no, quiet. Really quiet. Yeah. That's why I like this gym. I'm fucking toasted. I feel like a burnt. Tell them what we did so far today. Like, we just hung out on the beach. Got Chill. burnt. Like, we got we, tan. Camera, we could even see a little bit. D-Trend's a little bit red, like an apple. Yeah, we got, we got a little it. bit of sun. We, we did it golden era style. We hung out on the, the beach for like an hour or two. Got a tan, and now we're in here. Pumping, Where do we eat at again? Pumping, pumping our Johnson tips, huh? Where do we eat at again? What's it called? Egg, egg slut. Egg slut. Egg slut. Whatever kind so of place pop it up on slut screen. For eggs. Or just We slut. were this morning. Or egg. <laughs> Go to egg slut to fulfill your dreams and desires. <laughs> Is coming. This is Pump good. is gonna be coming. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming. <laughs> Bradley Mark podcast later. Yes. 8 p.m. Are you excited? I'm ready. I'm ready. Even though it's gonna be uploaded before this video, I said that last video. Facts. It's well, alright though. Fine. I think we have a lot of topics. Yeah. A lot of interesting topics to talk about. Other than that, fuck. We had we had some fruit too. Well, you yeah, didn't. I, I didn't, didn't have any fruit. Yeah. That egg was in my stomach. The egg. Oh wait, that Planet. sounds really bad. Someone planted an egg. <laughs> They planted you, Reese. They planted it. No, no, God. <laughs> Lost you there for a second. Uh, what happened? What happened to me? What's happening to me, Reese? I don't know what's going on. Where yeah, am you're I? You're working too hard, man. Where am I? <laughs> I'll go <get> down. <laughs> go good, like right there. Man, I wish my fuck. I can't get my finger to focus. Damn it! Right there. Yeah. Sounds about right. Right next to Arnold. Yep. Right next to the legend. That was a bit of a, not a warm up. It felt good. That's all that matters. It felt good, that's all that matters. It felt good. It felt great. Now, on to more chest. This is, this is a chest workout, by the way. Yep. This isn't a leg workout. Yeah. The chest is Johnson tip. Okay. Johnson tip PR. <laughs> Yeah. 
do a magic trick. Red his chest, those guys. Oh. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. One thing about bodybuilding and building muscle, I say it all the time, it's not much, it's not how much weight you lift, it's how you lift the weight, okay? So if you can make the weight you're lifting feel harder, more challenging, lighter weight, feel harder, you'll return, get more gains, and you'll protect yourself from injuries. So a lot of times I'll be curling 35s or I'll only be bench pressing to 25 for reps. And people are like, like, why aren't you lifting heavier? You can lift heavier, you're 250. You lift heavy. It's not how much weight you lift. It's how you, it's how you lift the weight. I make it harder on myself. I try not to cheat. I never bounce. I try to keep my form stable. I try to keep the tension on the muscle. Your muscle's not gonna know what's the difference between a 110 and an 85 pounds, okay? But you make that 85 pounds harder, even though the 110 is heavier, you need to do more reps to solid form, control it better, you're gonna grow better. Think of what you're doing as sculpting a body. You're trying to sculpt it, all right? If you're just throwing all this weight, being reckless, just throwing it, not paying any attention, not really getting connected, not really getting inside the muscle, you're not gonna sculpt. It's like a painter, he's just throwing everything, all this paint. As much as he can, he's just throwing it. Yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna build. You're not gonna make an amazing painting. You gotta fine detail it. Yeah. You're gonna master your craft, form, tension, uh, everything. Making it harder, the reps. That's perfecting your craft, and that's how I built my physique while not having to put 405 on a fucking bench press. Who knows? Maybe someday I will. But the point is, is that you don't need to lift smarter, not harder. Yes, sir. Here goes nothing. the chest. You don't fit on the screen. No? Nope. I gotta back up. Only your head fits on the screen. <laughs> Let's do the old column trick. Let's see if I get a bottle on that. Alright. Let's see. Did that count as? Yeah. I'd say that counts. That's how you build a shelf. That's how you do it. I think it's good. I think we're good. All right. Well, it was a solid fucking chest workout, I would say. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Solid workout. No bullshit this time. Yeah, we didn't get bothered. Nice chest workout. Some gains are coming. Gains are on the way. Burnt like a fucking tomato. <laughs> but I hope you guys like the video. Um, this is just, you know, classic fucking chest workout. You know, bottle on the fucking chest. Finally got the, the shelf achieved. Once you know you got the shelf achieved, you've made it in life and every girl will get on her knees for you. <laughs> All right.
I don't really know what else the fuck to say anymore. But all I can say is you know the fucking drill and get the fuck out of here. <laughs>